Hey, it's me. Why do you sound surprised to hear from me? I can't text you while I'm counting out my register. I had to call. I thought maybe you'd miss the sound of my voice by now, no? I know, it's not your fault. Right, how can two people be married for so long and go days without seeing one another? This is getting really rough. Well, I was calling to say I miss you and I love you, but now you're ticking me off, so never mind. Oh, oh! I'll get home as fast as I can. It's just been a super long shift. All right, are the kids up? Do they even remember me? Yeah. Yeah, put someone on. Hey, hey yourself, who's this? This is mom. Okay, yeah. I'll try, buddy, but you need to get in bed. I'm probably not gonna make it before you get to sleep. I'll see you in the morning, maybe, for a minute before I come right back. I know, it's not like I'm trying not to see you, it's just that, I know, honey, I'm sorry. What's the say there? It says, it says it's Pretty open. soon it will be this way. All right. That's Let's good, I need right. some. Hey, why don't you get your grandkids for Christmas? So my grandkid calls me and he tells me he wants an iPhone. An iPhone? What is he, six? He's six years old. Who's he going to call? Uh, ladies, Santa? I'm sorry, we just know. closed. Well, the sign said you're open, so we came on in. We're very good at reading. No. Yeah. You got menus? It says come again, as in we're closed. Oh, I see. I see that you just flipped the sign. Don't kid a kid a sweetheart. I waited tables for 30 years. I've quick flipped many a sign in my day. Yeah? <laughs> Fine, but we really are closed. We close at 10. I got 9.57. What time you got, Dorothy? In the 40 whatever years you know me, have I ever worn a watch? No. What are you, new? <laughs> I'll tell you what time I got. I got time for some of that leftover pie that you got in that case. What is that, custard? I already closed up my register, no. so I can't even ring you out. Oh, maybe a coconut cream pie? No. And on my watch, it is now 10.01. Banana. Banana, that's what it is. It's a cheesecake. Just take oh, it. Take oh, it for free. cheesecake, we're cake. saying. Take, oh, that sounds just good. Just take it to go, please. Listen. I've been here all day long. I'm exhausted. My feet hurt. I've got a husband at home whose face I can't remember because we've been working opposite shifts for so long. My kids can't even remember me because I'm never home anymore. I'm always She's here. It's talking. December 23rd. Have I even started my Christmas shopping yet? I just, I just got here and I've, I haven't even started. The kids have nothing to wear. I, there's no, the laundry whoa, whoa, isn't done. Whoa, 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 whoa. You want to slow it down a notch or two, honey? This ain't the Jimmy Johns. <laughs> She, she sounds like an auctioneer for the love. Sold. Yeah. Listen, we're old. We can't hear that fast. Here. Start over. Hey, why don't you come have a seat and get off those in. aching dogs? I, I mean, look at those legs. They look, look like sausages about ready to pop out of the skin. Right out of them. Sit down I here. I have to get home. I've got people waiting on me. My kid's waiting up. He needs to be in bed. I need to get out of here. I have to go shopping. What are you doing? What do you do to the girl, Stella? She feels broken. Ah, oh, shut your pie hole. I didn't break nothing. She's tired, right? You've been working your tuckus off, you've had a long day, and, and you look hungry too. Hey, why don't you stop torturing the poor girl and go get us some of that cheesecake, eh? Oh, yeah, let me get you some cheesecake, That's seeing right. as how I'm the only one with two arms and two legs you working around You used to wait here. tables, it's just like riding a bike. Get over there. Hey, hon, how old's the coffee? I don't know, a couple hours? Oh, good. Age to perfection. Just like myself. <laughs> hey, uh, you take the cream. I don't even like coffee. What? Oh, my angina. Oh. <laughs> well, no wonder you're so tired. Hey, hey, make hers a double. I'm on it. All right. Listen, now that we're so chummy, I feel like some introductions are in order. 
I'm Stella. Great. She's Dorothy. Dot. Huh? I'm going by Dot now. I told you. <laughs> Why? I like it. It's more hip. <laughs> no, it ain't. Her name is Dorothy. <laughs> and you are? Exhausted. So if it's all the same to you, ladies, it I'd really all like the to same just... to me. Listen, sweetheart, it is a blizzard out there, and traffic is a gridlock. So the way I see it is this. You can either sit in here or sit out there. Either way, you ain't moving. So you might as well have some cheesecake and enjoy some coffee. Yay. Joy. Joy's your name? Yes. It's a lovely name, but it's a little ironic. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Well, I'm just saying. I mean, tis the season to be jolly, and here you are, two days before the most wonderful time of the year, and you look like somebody just peed in your Wheaties. <laughs> Come on, doll, tell us your story. What gives? Well, it's not oh, the most no, wonderful no. time of the year for everyone, you know. I for some of us, all it means is extra long holiday hours and being constantly on our feet, and working like dogs and kids that want presents that we can't afford and having to work so that we can have extra, sm spend money we don't have on people we don't like and then don't even get me started on the cheesy Christmas movies and the stupid commercials all just selling the same lie. You know, Joy, if you could find yourself a harmonica somewhere, you'd have the start of a great blues song. <laughs> you always been such a Scrooge. Where's your Christmas spirit? <laughs> yeah, I lost that a long time ago. Yeah, but never mind all that. I want to know about this lie everybody's yeah. so supposed to be telling us. What are they all trying to sell us, honey? Think about it. You've seen the movies, right? The house is always perfectly clean and perfectly decorated. The kids are all getting along. There's a doting, adoring, attentive husband who's never grumpy, and no one's ever upset because they've worked a 50-hour work week, right? Everything comes together just like it's supposed to. Everyone has all the time in the world, and I'm sorry, but... If that's what life is supposed to look like, then clearly I am failing at life. And all Christmas does is remind me of that. Hmm. hmm. Oh, what? What? I'm the only one in the world who feels this way? Nope. Thank no. you. Just the only one in this cafe. Great. Great. So I am all alone in this. And I suppose that means your lives have been perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's rich. Oh, she's a comedian. <laughs> Ma'am. Mary. Oh, oh, quick! Oh, Do you know the Heidi you know Lick? Oh, no. We, oh, no. Dorothy. Do you know the Heidi Lick? No. Dorothy. I, I'm just kidding. I'm fine. Ah, uh, we got you. Oh. oh, we got her good this time, Dorothy. Oh, that was good. I need a napkin. Oh, here you go. Oh, that's that your idea of a joke. <laughs> That was a good one. We're old, kid. What else are we going to do to amuse ourselves? That was huh? good. Hi. Oh, man. Look at me. Oh. And to answer your question, no, our lives ain't perfect. I had a cheating husband. And one year, just before Christmas, our whole building burnt down to the ground. We had nothing left but the clothes on our backs. I had a, str a son who struggled with the drugs. Yeah. And my mom, may he rest in peace until I get there. After that fire, he started drinking like a fish. Plus, I only got one boob. <laughs> she means because she had the cancer. Why you gotta whisper, Stella? We were both there, I had the cancer. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Yeah, it was horrible, but I made it through, you know? Yeah. Hey, I got another game I like to play. Oh, no. <laughs> There's five dollars in it for you. Which one's the real one? <laughs> No one wants to touch your boob. <laughs> I didn't ask her to 
touched my boobs. Not Stella. yet, but it's coming. I know it's coming. It's always coming. But how else is she gonna tell? I mean, they did a really good job. They did. Now, will you please sit down and just get to the point, though? Come on. No? You pass? <clears throat> I'm fine. Good. I'll keep my five dollars. This one's for free. The point is, even though life is tough, it's still good. It's still good. How? You both just got done telling me about all the crap that's happened in your life, and now you're supposed to, you want me to believe that life is good just because you wrap it up in a big old Christmas bow? That makes you just as much of a liar as those cheesy commercials. No. Oh, toity toity. No. It's nothing like that, see? You only got one side of the story. All right, fine. Humor me. What's the other side? Well, there's been all kinds of good stuff. Oh, yeah, Was yeah. Was cheesecake? That year we had the fire? The cheesecake is good. Yeah, the year we good. had the fire, that whole town turned out. They donated stuff like food and clothes, blankets, um, Christmas presents, presents for the Fired kids. Up oh, here. They made out like champs that year. It was really something. You got to see the good in people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then my kid, Ricky. Ricky. The one who struggled with the drugs. Yeah. Once he started going to those meetings. The meetings. What's what? the name, Stella? Um, ADD. No. No. <laughs> Uh, triple A. Triple no. A. No. <laughs> 18. 18. 18. That's what it, it was. was 18. 18. <laughs> Once he started going to those meetings and letting people love on him, he really started to change, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Started going to church, so I never thought I'd see that day. No. I mean, this is the kid who what? He used to steal money from his own grandmother his for the drugs. And here we are, coming up on 10 years sober. He's helping other people that were just as messed up as he was. I mean, I can call that a miracle, don't you think? Mm -hmm. I sure never could have fixed that kid. Amen. Mm. But I did learn how to pray. I think we both did. Ooh, those were some tough years. Life can get pretty screwy, kid. And then one day you're sitting here wondering, how did I ever make it through? And that joy is when you give credit where credit is due. God. Yeah. I don't mean to go all footprints in the sand on you, but yeah, God. <laughs> you don't get to be as old as we are by walking through life alone, Toots. No. Please. I know plenty of old people who don't even acknowledge that a God exists and they're still alive. They may be alive, but they ain't living. No. You know what I mean, honey. We're not, nobody's having as much fun as we're having. Yeah. How do you know that? Because, honey, when you get Jesus and you're walking with him, I mean, life's an adventure. Mm -hmm. I wake up in the morning and I go, one, two, one, two, one. <laughs> All right, Lord, what dost thou haveth for me today? I like to speak to him in the old English. It's more fun. She does. <laughs> and he says to me, I want you, Dot, and Stella to go down to that diner on the corner, 7th and Elm, and have some cheesecake and coffee with the disgruntled waitress and cheer her up. Yeah, yeah right. All right, maybe he didn't say it in so many words. Right. But here we are. You're disgruntled, and we're cheering you up. I did ask. I was like, Lord, look at this lady. What do you want me to do with this? And he says, and he says to me, go forth, Dot, and so let your, sight sh your sh light shine before all men and the waitress. Dot. 79 years, 79 years yeah. you've been Dorothy, and now even God Almighty is calling you Dot. <laughs> he respects my wishes. I like it. It makes me feel younger. Please. All right? Oh, it's more hip, you know, it's, it's like dot com. What? Like the interwebs. The interwebs? Yeah. Plus, 
Now when I go to the store and I gotta swipe my card and fill up, oh, do you no. make Here people swipe their own card? No, I do it myself. Thank God for that. God bless you. What, nobody wants to work anymore. I gotta swipe my own card. Yeah. And then when it comes time for me to sign my name on the line, now all I gotta do is dot. No, I know people are gonna be like, hey lady, you gotta put your whole name down there. And I'll be like, I did. It's right there. <laughs> you got issues, you know that, right? Exactly. All right. Point is, Ken, don't wait around for life to be perfect, or you're gonna wait your life away. It's like my mom always used to say, in the cup of life, there is bitter and there is sweet. You must drink deeply of both if Double you're to drink at all. Dead. And that he did. Why well, you got your hand all over my mug? For well, this? <laughs> How do you like them apples? Now who's what the funny doing? one? What are you What are you, I haven't had my flu shot yet. Better go get it. Is it? Did he ever stop drinking? No. Well, why? Didn't you try to get him help? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. We did all that. But he didn't want it. I finally said to him, Marv, it's either us or that bottle. And he made his choice. Just wasn't the one I was praying he would make. So God didn't answer your prayer. God gives us free will, kid. And he's not about to take that away from us. We get to choose in this life between life and death, blessing or cursing, hope or despair. So this is the part where you tell me that happiness is a choice. Happy schmappy? Well, you think I'm happy I only got one boob? Forget about it. I'll tell you what I got, though. Deep down, I got joy. And that is nothing no surgeon could take from no, me. No, not at all. And it's the real deal. And I'll tell you, Joy, it's because it comes from Jesus. That's why it's the real deal. Because he's the real deal. You better believe it. And Christmas is about him. So it doesn't matter if your life is perfect like those movies and commercials. Because it ain't about that anyway. It's about celebrating when God came down to earth and became one of us schmucks. It's about remembering that he's still here with us, offering to walk us home. Hey, hey. and speaking of home, we better let her get going, huh? Good, yeah. So, thank you for the uh, delicious cheesecake and the horrible coffee. Horrible. We'll leave you a few bucks on the table, okay? Oh, don't worry about that. You ladies gave me plenty to think about. I'm sure that's better than any tip. Then don't call it a tip. Yeah. You know, call it a, a stocking stuffer. <laughs> okay, thanks. Hey. <laughs> Merry Christmas, kid. Oh, thanks. group hug! I'm bringing hey, it in. Here she comes. Uh, oh. You and your ample breath. You go. All right. Get it Thank on. You. Hey, hey, and if you're a good girl, Joy, maybe we'll come bug you for some <laughs> lousy coffee at New Year's, all right? I'd like that. All right. All right. You're so ready. Right. I'm I'm ready. ready. Hey, um. Huh? Dorothy. What? Uh, your two turtle doves, one's starting to fly away. <laughs> No birds, Stella. No, no, honey. Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. That new dance move. No, it's not a dance move. Your ornaments are off. Did I bump the, I bumped the tree? No, you didn't bump the tree, Dorothy. Huh? Dorothy. Stella. Dorothy. Stella. Stella. Dot. Track, track with me. We got on the oh. Rudolph. 
His nose is shining so bright. Fix it. Excuse me. That's better. Did I get it? A little. All right. There. Yeah. There you go. All right. Okay. Let's go. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, one more piece of advice, kid. In life, it's tough. You find yourself a breast friend. Yeah. One that's gonna untangle your tinsel every now and again. <laughs> See you later, kid. Hi. They say it is more blessed to give than to receive. We were in a giving mood. So here's a hundred dollars for your tip. Thank you for the wonderful cheesecake and the horrible coffee. Well, Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Joy, Love, Stella, and Dot. <laughs> Dorothy! <laughs> <laughs>